Hi everybody, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, from HandyAndyMedia.com, and today I'll be doing a review for Best Buy's blog on the BenQ V7050i. This is a 4K projector, but what makes it unique is that it's an ultra short throw projector, and I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Now in this review, we're going to look at the design of this BenQ projector. We'll look a, talk a little bit about the setup, getting it up and running, positioning the projector to get the best image onto your screen, and then finally I'm going to end off with my experiences using it, and if I really think it could replace or at least be an alternative to a 4K television, especially in smaller, brightly lit rooms. So without further ado, let's get it! You know how we do it here at Handy Andy Media. Folks, get your popcorn ready, and cue the intro. Let's begin by discussing the design of the BenQ V7050i 4K projector. Now compared to the long throw projectors that I've reviewed in the past, this one is extremely bulky. It's quite big to, to, to be honest with you. Now on the front you'll find that it has two built in 5 watt speakers that actually produce a really good sound and I'll talk about that a little bit later. On the sides, you do have this kind of grill system that allows the heat, gives it somewhere to dissipate and give some airflow into the projector itself. On the back is where you're going to find your ports and there's two HDMI ports, an SPDIF port and an R232 port. But what is really surprising is that you only see two HDMI ports and what you'll notice is that there's a sticker there that designates one of those ports, HDMI 1, for the BenQ Android TV dongle. And this is something we'll also discuss in a little bit. On the top is you're going to find the power button on the bottom right corner. And when you press it, you'll notice that there's a motorized cover that starts to open it. And it looks super cool. Now, this is to protect the lens which is underneath it and really ensures that dust and any other kind of debris will not get on it when it's not in use. This is by far the best design feature of this projector. All in all, as I mentioned, this is an ultra short throw projector, meaning that you put it very close to your screen. Now, in this case, I am reviewing this in my high-tech Airbnb suite which has a long throw projector mounted on the wall that faces a wall that I use as a projector screen. This wall is painted with this white matte paint that's kind of uh, ideal for projecting onto it, but it's not ideal. You would want one of those ALR, those ambient light uh, type of screens if you really want to get the best screen possible. Now let's talk about the setup procedure. The entire installation can happen on your phone. And if you have an Android phone, this is going to be super simple to set up. You just have to use Google to then put your Google account onto the BenQ Android TV dongle. In all, this uh, installation will probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes. It is super easy and after that, you're going to have access to the Android TV dongle to watch content. Now let's talk about the positioning. As I mentioned, this is an ultra short throw projector, so you put it very close to your screen. Not in feet, but we're talking about inches. According to the manual, this can do projections from 70 inches up to 120 inches. And if you want a 120 inch screen, it says to put it about 33 centimeters away from the screen. Now when I did that, one thing I noticed was you can't really adjust where the screen sits on the wall. And originally I had it on a coffee table and then I had the idea of taking it off the coffee table and then putting it onto the ground to see if I could get a bigger screen size and lo and behold, I did. In fact, I was almost able to fill that entire screen area which in its max could probably do about 165 inches. I got close to about 130 inches when I was using uh, the projector on the ground. So that just tells you that the height of where the projector sits will affect the, the both the uh, size of the image, but also the distance from the wall is going to affect the size. So those two things you have to take to account when you're placing this projector. But once I had that set up on the ground, the, the image quality was remarkable. It was bright, it was colorful, and it was quite impressive, especially considering that I was doing this 
in the daytime. And you can see from the footage that even in this brightly lit room, the colors were still popping out. That said, the blacks weren't that black, and that's an issue um, that probably could be fixed if I had a dedicated screen there. Uh, but all in all, for an Ultra HD projector to get a 4K resolution with those types of colors in that room was quite impressive. And especially considering that this was done in the daytime, you can only imagine how it would look at night because virtually all projectors are, are very impressive at night. But it's always the big question is, how do they do in the daytime? And this one certainly did not disappoint. That said, it is a very, very expensive projector but it allows people that have small rooms to be able to get that 4K projection resolution without having to use a long throw projector, which might not be um, possible in certain rooms. Not only that, you don't get that issue of people walking in front of the projector and putting their shadow against the wall when you're using an ultra short throw projector like the BenQ V7050i. All in all, I have to say I was very impressed with this, could it replace a TV? Yes. However, it takes a lot of configuration and just, you know, playing around with it, testing it out in different types of scenarios to try to get that best image. I wish the dongle in the back was built inside the projector itself. I've seen this in other BenQ projectors that I reviewed, 4K projectors. So I was kind of surprised that they had it sitting in the back. But that said, it being a, a ultra short throw projector, they already know that you're going to have it close to the wall, so maybe that's why they decided to just put it in the back. I don't know, but you're not going to be disappointed by the image quality on this ultra short throw projector, provided the room that you have can, can fit it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the BenQ V7050i 4K Ultra HD projector. If you liked it, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave your comments below. If you want to get more information about your boy, you can find me at my website, handyandymedia.com. I also have a YouTube channel where I do a lot of DIY stuff, uh, gardening, uh, tech, of course, and a lot of how-to stuff around the house and home. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.